Okay, we're getting some music on for you now to pass the time again. Okay, so now I've changed the patient's position, I need to tell the magnet that we've changed orientation. So we'll change it to standing up. The, my little figure on the screen corresponds with the patient in the scanner. And then I'm ready to go. Caroline, the window looks a bit strange. It looks dark, because it's like double two-way, yeah, single-way mirror or something. The window is actually a Faraday cage, so all MRI scanners live in cages, which are called Faraday cages. Uh, the main reason for that appearance is to stop the magnetic waves getting into us here, and from any extraneous um, magnetic waves from mobile phones, things like that, from getting in from this area into the magnetic field. So we don't want any interference with the images, so that's a Faraday cage. Great, thank you. That's very quiet. I can make it louder if you want. <laughs> so again, the scanner is just calibrating and getting itself tuned up. It still has three gradient coils, like a normal MRI scanner in each direction. So it's just warming those up, working out which direction the patient is in. We always get a counter of what the scanner is doing as well, so if we can see the patient's really struggling or wincing, I'll try and communicate just another mm. minute, another two minutes, just to keep them going. Okay, checking that position now. So I've got scout images again. Great. Yeah, that's fine. So I select my lumbar spine standing protocol. So how much quicker is the standing MRI? It's about half the time. Right. So we, want, we appreciate that... Um, the patient's not really in their most comfortable position now. Okay. A quick 30 seconds. So we'll just do a sagittal T2 weighted sequence just to get our correct orientation again. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do a block of axial T2 weighted okay. as well through the affected discs. Okay, two and a half minute scan now, ever so still there for me, no dancing to the music. So I already know which discs I'm very interested in from mm. the previous scan of the mm. lady in the supine position. So whilst this scan is running, I'm trying to get as, as far set up as I can without seeing the actual mm. images just to save time so I've got a mental image in my head of where they are but now when the lady stands up that might change mm. so I'll still need to look at my sequence when it's ready we always try and let the patient know what we're about to do, how many sequences, roughly how long they are, just to sort of keep them going. Because if you just stand mm. there and you're not sure how many sequences you're doing and how long everything's going to take, mm. um, sometimes you can't cope with that pain anymore. Mm. So to make it bearable, 
and some people, as Dr. Blees pointed out earlier on, they will literally count down to the second that you say. So, we can't lie too much. Some people, on the other hand, will say they don't want you to tell them, just carry on and do it. So it's uh, so we try and go with the patient. It is lovely to see though the lady I scanned this morning. She went in. She was so nervous, and after the first lumbar spine, we put her back in for a knee examination. And after every sequence, she was smiling, giving me a thumbs up. So it's uh, that's nice to get that feedback then. And I think it helps when you are looking at the patient all the time. It's odd from my point of view as a radio for looking at the patient all the time mm. and when they're looking at you. Um, but I think it's nice because you can see this facial expression. You can see when they're starting to wince, even mm. if they're not pressing the buzzer. You can see that reaction. And if I respond over the intercom then and say, I, I can appreciate that I can see that you're in pain. You're doing so well. Mm. Really try your best. It's a minute and a half mm. that will sort of keep them going. Mm. We don't generally talk to the patient whilst a scan is running, just not to provide distraction. But mm. if it's needed and you can see that patient mm. starting to change in front of you, we always use that as an encounter.